to the Kent Lap Podcast. I wanted to be my own broker because I wanted to be able to have control over everything. Like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo when it comes to marketing. I mean, I have, I have my own like logo, like so I'm that kind of weird guy. Yeah. So you know, and I also had this idea of like I want to, I want to own property. You know, I've talked about I want a thousand doors. I'm like, I hate what is out there now. Let's just build it. Like mm-hmm. that's, and a lot of naivete, mm-hmm. if you will, mm-hmm. right? You know, let's just build it. Um, and so my, my thought was, I'm going to, I'm going to build a company and it's going to have multiple facets and it's going to have, you know, we're going to sell real estate, residential, we're going to get into investing. We're going to have an investment arm. We're going to have a property management arm. We're going to eventually have a holding company, um, where, you know, we hold company, we, we hold property, you know, but once they go to move out, we'll also be able to sell them property. Mm-hmm. You know, we also had the property management. And, and the idea mm-hmm. was to build this whole ecosystem mm-hmm. around real estate. Yeah. Right. So, so there's each- going to be one company with multiple product lines, so to speak. Yep. Correct. Correct. Tying back under Dixon Group Realty. Yeah. And so almost you build, like you said, an ecosystem to where it all feeds off of each other. Mm-hmm. And so the more you're in it, everyone thrives. Right. Right. Um, you know, that, that was the whole idea and that's kind of what we set out to build. Mm-hmm. Um, and we started doing it. Right. I mean, you know, we did it. We, we, you know, we started it off, we got it going. We went from three people to 10 people. I think it was three, three or four people. Me had an ops agent, um, that also did transaction coordinator and had a buyer. That was on my, well, quote, team before we launched. What's a buyer? A buyer agent, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. A buyer's agent. So somebody that is helping, I give leads to, and they go sell. Yep. Right. Um, and we grew from three people to 10 people in 18 months or so, you know. And, and I mean, we could have grown more people, but I was trying to be selective and all this stuff. Um, but during that whole time, you know, I'm, I'm over here, I'm trying to build a business and, and trying to build this empire, you know, to build, you know, I'm pouring my blood, sweat, tears, and a crap ton of money into it, you know, yep. putting it on, getting it off the ground. And at, over here, you know, I'm really doing a lot of soul work. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding like who I am. Am I willing to make these hard decisions? Right. Am I, am I honest with myself at the same time? At the same time. Mm. And it's kind of like these two like things, two major things going on in my life at once. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that was, that's what we were doing. We were building it and growing and got a team and all these things. And I, I think ultimately I, uh, I had a company compass which is kind of a high-end company out of Nashville, start recruiting me. Um, and I said for a long time, like, thanks, but no thanks. You know, this is my baby. Again, I'm pouring, pouring my whole, whole being into this thing. Yeah. And uh, we had moved a couple offices a couple times, and I, I just had knew something was missing, right? Like, stressed all the time, waking up at 1.30 in the morning, freaking out kind of kind of stuff um and again it's not like the company wasn't making money mm-hmm. you know it was tough but we were we were keeping it open and um anyway i just had to come to this point in my life where i'm like what am i going to do right am i you know because this is where it gets into the idea of are you willing to suffer at least what to a lot of people looks like a loss out in the open i mean think about it at this this whole time we're having it. We're documenting a weekly vlog. Oh, you're doing a vlog when in you had time. Dixon Group Realty. Yeah. And you're vlogging about how you're building the company, yep. where you're going, what your vision is, how it's going. Yep. You're vlogging this whole thing. We're vlogging the whole thing. Yeah. Like, like, and it's called from the ground up. And I, I mean, see. the whole, the whole, I mean, even though it's kind of a, like the whole premise of it was we're building a company. Yes. You want to follow along on this journey. Yes. Gotcha. And suddenly I'm, I'm faced with this decision of, is it time to end the company? Right. Right. And, and I'm, again, I'm living this out in the open. Like Mm -hmm. what's going to happen? It's tough. It's tough. Um, but when I really stopped and thinking about it, when I really came back to the table and said, well, let me, cause Nate, 
Nate, he's my right hand man. Um, he was he was like, well, maybe we should think about this, and and I said, well, okay, we'll we'll, we'll look into it. We'll run the numbers, and literally within a week, I knew like in my soul, it's time. Mm. It's time. And to when kill the was company. this? Do you have a month or a year? Uh, November. November of last year. October to November. October, Some, November of 2019. Yeah, of 2019. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And that's I, recent. We're recording very, this in April of 2020. Yeah. So I've only been with Compass since January 1st. Wow. Well, technically the end of December, I did come on. Yeah. Um, but I finished all of my old my old contracts that closed in 2019. Mm. I closed under Dixon Group Realty. Had a clean break. Been with Compass. So uh, yeah, this is a very relatively recent decision. Mm-hmm. And and I think what was so fascinating to me was, and I think what even made me happy, a little giddy, is not that I ha- not that I was shutting down the company. And it wasn't even that. I mean, obviously, it wasn't that I was shutting down the company. It wasn't that. Oh, I just lost hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars, right? Like that sucks. Yeah. What made what what was so incredible about the whole thing was how at peace I was with the decision. Like, I, I, like the fact that all this soul work and, and understanding who I am, understanding like, is this really what you want? Because that was the whole question. Like the whole mm. question going to my mind was, is this really who you are? Mm. And I wasn't. And I, and I wasn't good at it. Like, I mean, I was good at sales. I wasn't good at leadership. Or, and I, I wouldn't even say I wasn't good at leadership. I wasn't good at being a broker. Management, would you say? I'm terrible. Like, I... Like I'm the I'm the, there's nobody less organized than I am, mm, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, I found myself all day, every day, behind a computer doing compliance, doing yes. accounting, oh. payroll. <laughs> oh, you know, somebody call you at two o'clock in the middle of the day. Hey, uh, can I get a check? Can I get a check? Oh can yeah, I, I got to yeah. stop what I'm doing. And yep. go copy paperwork and archive them and yes, I get your stupid check and all yep. this stuff. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is stupid. And I mean, and I have to, <laughs> did yeah. you feel that from day one? From day one with Dixon Group Realty, <sighs> like when did you start to feel like, man, this is? I spent a lot of time it doing activities on. that I do not enjoy at all. It was early. It on. was early well, on. Well, well, I also had at the time I had somebody on the team that was incredibly talented in all those areas, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like she had an accounting degree, she had a business degree. She was virtually the one that launched the company. I, I was see. just, I was just the face. I see. You sure. Know? You were the vision and the brand, essentially, and the ambition, and yeah. she was the nuts and bolts. She was the nuts and bolts. I see. Um, and really good at it. Incredibly, incredible at it. Um, but even then, though, e- even though you, at the end of the day, it still came down to me, mm. right? At the end of the day, like, I still had to be the one that was making sure compliance was happening, right? And I was just, and I was honest, like, it was, it was really awesome to be able to say, I own a real estate company in Nashville. Sure. I mean, when Nashville's a hot spot, sure, right? You you know that there's a, there's a sense of pride Feels there. Like, good, yeah, yeah, I own my own company in uh, Nashville. Yeah. You know, one of the top three markets in the entire country. Yeah. Um, but but I I realized when I really stopped and I had those cigars and I had those moments and I was quiet. I'm like, this ain't me. Hmm. It just ain't me. Like, I want to travel. Mm-hmm. I wanna I wanna go. I wanna I like selling. I, I like building relationships. And it just, I'm, I ultimately, I knew, like, this is not getting me to where I want to go. This, and in fact, I, I started it because I thought it was going to get me to where I wanted to go. But it was actually pulling me away, right? I mean, when you spend 40% of your time outside of your strengths, you know, even, even if you can do it, you're not going to do it to your full capacity, right? Mm, and, sure. and in fact, I actually sold less with a team of 10, then I sold by myself the year before. So to be clear, by yourself the year before, you're just out there rocking. Yep. And you're just selling real estate. You're giving away a slice of your income to the to a broker, right? Right. But then you've got your own brokerage and it's you and nine others. There's ten of you total. Yes. And you seven, sold less. seven agents, two operations people. And you sold less. I sold less. Because you were the one that could really sell. And under this company, you're focused on things that have nothing to do with sales. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, it just, I had to be honest and say, I'm just not, I'm not good at accounting. Right. Like literally, um, I had my, my number two decided to move on in April. I didn't do, I didn't keep the books the rest of the year. 
April of 19. Yeah. <laughs> That's what are you gonna do for your taxes? That, I, I've, I've got I've got my accountant <laughs> okay. going through it all now. So now they've got a nightmare yeah. to clean now up. Now I've got now I've got a I've got a really good team around me now. Sure, right? And I mean, and I, I I've told them they know yeah. they know like I'm I'm a freaking mess. Yeah, you know yeah. I'm a hell of a salesman. Yep, but <laughs> I'm not a details guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not. And and I tell them on the I told them on the front end like you this is what you're getting if yeah. you come on. Your job is to keep my head straight because I can't do sure. it myself. Yeah, um, and just just the ability to to know it's time to close the company, be completely at peace with it, made me as happy as anything else. Wow. Like the fact that I was in a place spiritually, emotionally, everything that I could kill the thing that I've been pouring the last eighteen to twenty months of my life into. Like I'm like this is what it's all about. Mm. Right. Like that, that, that made me, that, that told me that I was really getting in the right direction. When you had doubts, when you're starting this, running this company, growing it, when you had doubts about, man, is this really what I should be doing? Was the question even greater than that? As in, should I even be in real estate? What should I be doing? Or was it, man, should I even be, should I really be doing this? Or should I just become an agent again? Was it always clear to you that if you don't be a broker, if you don't build your own real estate company, you would just become an agent again? Or was the question, if I don't do this, I don't know what I would do? I, I always love the real estate. Okay. Like, I don't think it was for me. Sales is fun. Okay. Um, and, and, and really, even beyond that, it's the pursuit. It's like the building. Like, But it, I knew that I would stay in, at least I had a hunch that I would stay in real estate. I see. But it was, it was more of like, th- there's this sense of pride. Like for me, it's my identity is wrapped into, I need to have control, mm. right? I need to have control. Like this needs to be mine. Like I'm building, like, like my, my biggest struggle through most of my life has been tied to you're never going to be good enough. Mm. Right. Like, like. My and it's it's interesting, and we we kind of talked about this, but off off air one time when I was here. But my a lot of my identity most of my life has been trying to prove something, mm-hmm. right? And so for me, and it's been weird. Um, and I I'll go through this in a minute, but like before, I had this complex, and I, and again, all this to say, I'm glad that I had the company. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm completely glad I did it. I needed it. I needed to get out of my system. Otherwise, right. I would always wonder, could I have done it? 